Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Pauline and today we're gonna be talking about the province of Gangwondo, which is where I am placed. Um, I feel like there's not a lot of information on Gangwon and it's actually a pretty common place to get um, placement. I think in my intake uh, for fall 2019, we had the biggest class, if not like one of like one of the biggest people like amount of people that were placed in my province and honestly there's no information on my province and like i feel like maybe one or two things but not many people like say like they're from kangwon or they're placed here it's mainly seoul busan ulsan um jeju like you can find stuff on jeju even though jeju is technically rural as well um so yeah, let me just give you some facts about Kangwondo just in case you are coming here or you're just kind of interested in where I'm placed and some information on it. All right, so um, Kangwon actually um, has like, it's the most northern part of South Korea. So it's the weather is really cold here. Like when it's cold, it's cold. And it honestly stays quite chilly. And it's, it's almost like it doesn't get in a way get as hot as everywhere else in South Korea because of how north it is, which is great, honestly, because although it's still really hot, it's not as hot as other places in South Korea. Um, so Kangwon actually has two large cities. I would say maybe three if you want to count um, the coast, but um, some cities that you can hear about cities, AK towns that you'll hear about is um, Chuncheon, which is a huge city here in um in Kangwon and then there's also so Chuncheon, Wanju, Gangneung, Sokcho are four places that I feel like if you said you were going there or you find out you're going there it's they're the city um especially if you're in Chuncheon or Wanju um they're the city so they have like taxis um they you know it's just like they have like more things there and when i mean that uh and what i mean by that is that they just have like way more people there compared to any other city in kangwondo um i think i could speak for like kangneung which is like the farthest coast it's like by the ocean as well as sokcho those those two i feel like are good um if you like like the sea and stuff like that and like it's beaches right there. So although it's not super city-like, like more like Chuncheon and Wanju, which honestly, especially because I've been to Wanju before, it's a very like, like there's big buildings, like you can't see any nature type of things. So um, yeah, it's not all mountains and dust out here in Kangwondo. Um, but yeah, there's also um, like for Kangwondo, it's very spread out because it's like big and so there's not as many like communities um especially if you are a person that's placed in Kangwon and you're not in like Wanju, Chuncheon, um Gangneung or Sokcho like you're gonna be mostly placed like in smaller towns um but they still have quite a bit of stuff so I'm I'm honestly placed like more than rural like what I feel like is more than rural because there's a kind of like district so if you um, Can kind of think of it like that. So there's like district school districts So the school district that I'm in is Hwangsung, but my town is away from Hwangsung It's kind of like within the district. There's like sub categories and there's like Hwangsung is like the town which is a bigger town and then I'm like placed in a smaller town um, so Hwangsung as like a town has way more people. Um, they have like taxis, um, buses that go like to the bigger cities. Um, they have like Daiso's, they have like bigger grocery stores, stuff like that. Um, so in the, in regards to like rural, it's not rural to me. Like Hwangsung, the area is not that rural to me. Um, they don't have like big skyscrapers or anything, but it's a lot less rural than where I'm at. I'm in a town that is like 40 minutes by bus, maybe 25 minutes, 30 minutes by car from that area. And I lived in Texas, so like it's not, I would drive into Houston from where I lived and it would be no problem, be like 45 minutes. So this like, it was not a big adjustment for me. Um, and then, so yeah, uh, 
the province as well like Gangwon is where the Winter Olympics in 2018 was held in Pyeongchang so Pyeongchang is rural as well and the people there it's like you're working it's like as like a province I feel like most of the people I know work at multiple schools um, actually my friend who works in Wanju works at like five schools so just like just put that in retrospect retrospect that's the word um, yeah and the province is known like different parts of the province are known for different things Hwangsung as like a district or area within the province is known for our beef we have the Kobe of Korea which is Hanwoo beef um, Hanwoo beef is amazing it's delicious um, but there's also you know like the beach uh, cities um, also Chuncheon is known for Takaobi so they're uh, it's like a Korean dish so Gangwon though overall getting around is different um so cities like they depending on where you get lucky there will be a ktx line um but if not you're travel most likely you're traveling by bus into like the biggest city which the nearest one is seoul um it takes me about an hour and 20 minutes um, by ktx which is like our bullet trains here in korea to get into seoul like from my town um i think if you're placed on the farthest edge it takes about two hours so it's, it's not like far korea if you take into account how small it is it's definitely like if you're coming from a big state like me or if you just come from an area like where it's more distributed it's not going to be a problem but if you come from a place where you think like everything's gonna be 10 minutes you are definitely not gonna have fun <laughs> like straight up um I like I knew people who left um, who didn't like like the ruralness but that's the thing not everyone gets solar boost on and not everyone wants it I wasn't even a person that applied for Seoul because I didn't want to live in the city I wanted to live like somewhere like out I didn't think as rural as I got because honestly my town here in Korea like in Gangwon-do is really really small like maybe less than 5,000 people like for sure less than 5,000 people so although i'm in rural though it's very easy for me to get into seoul i luckily got like a ktx line but it may not be the case for you and it just kind of depends i have people i have friends like um other cities that you can get in Gangwon that are really really rural but love their towns and so i guess like if you are nervous to come to Gangwon do or if you're nervous to go to another rural province I want you to know that it just it's situational based you definitely if you're coming into korea as an epic teacher you have to be open to anything especially if you're applying as well so this is for people who are applying who are looking at different provinces and stuff like that you have to be open-minded for it to work um because i think if i thought i was like guaranteed something i would have been highly disappointed but to be honest when i came to korea i didn't have like an expectation like oh i need this this and this um everything kind of just worked out for me i got like the ktx line um the town that is nearby is not too far from me so it honestly depends on like what you expect which is like better not to expect anything um i'm not saying all situations are going to be super great because there's also this thing in every rural province and as well as any other place that you're um placed in um we call it like the trifecta is that if you get like either a really great location like a city if you get a really great co-teacher or if you get really really great school slash like students slash teacher relationship those things like really make or break your experience here in South Korea and luckily I feel like um like although I didn't get a city I really I've like grown to love my town and I really have like a good relationship with my co-teacher and I have a good relationship with my school and my students so um if you're really nervous about applying or if you're coming to like a rural province feel free to message me because I think like the bad connotations that come with rural it's situational based not everyone gets really lucky with the trifecta and like you might just get one or you might not get any of those and you know it's all about like what you expect when you come here to south korea and i feel like it's really important to let people know that you know especially like kangwondo i really love kangwondo there's like it's far enough from the city where if i feel like the need to go party or do something i can do that but then i can go away from it and then i have the beaches that are close by it's like 30 minutes from me by train so it honestly depends on 
what you expect. So I really hope this kind of like overview of Gangwon-do kind of helped you. So there's like cities in Gangwon-do, but we're still all considered rural, but it's not rural. So um, yeah, I hope you guys good luck and thanks for watching. Check me out next time. Bye.